So sleepy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to draw this one, people. I feel really, really sleepy for some reason. <sighs> uh oh. I think it's because there was a wild jiggly puff on the loose. <laughs> There's a wild jiggly puff in my basement. That's what it was. I'll get you, jiggly puff. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw the puffer. This is our excited. It's going to be fairly simple and this has been real popular. So let's get started. I'm just going to use a 4H, a hard lead, and really it's you know, basically a simple circle shape, much like Kirby and stuff, but uh, you probably won't, you might, you should be able to see this when I'm going to darken in, but I'm using a hard lead just because I like the feel of it and I'm just doing, it's kind of a circle, but you don't want to make it perfect. The circle should be kind of a little fatter on the sides, but I'll sketch that in. And basically, once you get that, then just come in with the pencil. And you can see I'm making smooth stroke lines on the thing. And when you get towards the top, don't close the circle in all the way because you have like the little hair poof thing like that. I like that. Oh my gosh, I really have yawned now. That's weird. Holy crap, that's weird. It must be messing with my mind. Then the little ear, the ear's not really pointed. I've seen different ways. It is kind of pointed, but it's not, if that makes sense. So you don't want to make it extreme sharp, but look how the line there just kind of meets for the ear shape. And like I said, you don't want to completely fill in the circle and then do the same on this side it doesn't have to be exactly symmetrical but another little see how I'm just making the point it's like pointed but it kind of curves into it the two little lines then this arm and what I'm going to do I'm going to make one arm in the air she's looking straight up and just to make one of the arms in the air it's a little below halfway of the body and just draw this little tiny arm in a kind of circular shape and she's just waving at us and really important that the arm, I'm going to make the arm a little wider here uh, very important that it's wider than the, the tip of it like you can see how this right here gets smaller so make sure as it gets back in the body it's wider than that uh, and I'm not going to lie, I get very nervous doing these simpler drawings because it's like, you know, every little thing matters, every little line. So let's finish, complete the circle shape. And you can notice how I'm leaving, I usually will leave a space, like wherever I know something's going to go, I won't sketch, I'll, I'd lightly sketch it, but I won't go over it uh, too much. Then for the other arm, you could just make it laying down here. just on the side there and the feet just rounded they come out and they're pretty big but they're not huge see how close they are kind of towards the body I'm going to end it right about here and as they come back in they're very skinny kind of like that and then another little foot and you know don't do kind of your own way too how you feel looks best it's all about being artistic, you know, you don't want to, it's all about how you feel it looks better getting the lines. For this one, I'm going to definitely clean up a lot of the lines with the eraser and go back. You can see how it looks so far. And last but not least, the, well, two things, the little hair poof. Right around here, just make a big 
then it goes above the ears, see how it goes above the ears? It almost reminds me of a seashell shape. So it comes down, curves this way, and then the best way to do it is make another circle right there. See, so think of it one big circle here, with this circle extends down, and then another little circle here. And so you have these two shapes, like that. And another one. Then just go dark in. Look, look how big it is. It's uh, you kind of have to note it's pretty big. It's not like as big as the body, but it is fairly big in size. And of course, those sweet, adorable little eyes. Let's get the ear. So for this ear, just shape, and we'll shade all that in black. And this side, notice how the ears, I'll make it a little wider on the top. That's what's great, I love, thank goodness for erasers, man. I, if I have an eraser, I would freak out all the time. So I'd be freaking out. And, so there's those little ears. Then for the eyes, two big circles. So I'm going to use the light light again. You could do one here and they kind of kind of in the center. Or just sketch it out till you feel you got a good circle shape. Don't go crazy. And another one here. And like I said, this is kind of my own style. You know, I, I do things with kind of an edginess to them. I sometimes I'll exaggerate shapes or, you know, I just like to do different things. You know, it's still the character, but that's kind of how it is. And I guess I'll just put a little smile. I kind of think of a little small big. Let's just put a little line for the small here. Actually, let's make it open. Wide, pretty wide, but not too wide. There we go. And put the tongue. So for the eyes, I just gotta check something. Oh, good, we're good on time. For the eyes, the best way to do it is start with that first circle we did. And look. Oh man, oh, this might be a perfect circle. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Go, oh, I messed up again. There's one. Gosh, I'm telling you, man. Uh, I know I said it before in my other videos, but warm up before, because uh, I'm just having trouble getting these lines to look good. The two eyes. And then basically now that you got those two circles, within those circles you have another circle. And look, notice how it's not completely, uh, it's, it's pretty big but you still have the other circle around it. And another little circle. And this is awesome, my friend Eric, he, he uses Jigglypuff and Smash. Who? Oh please let me know in the comments, please let me know if you play Smash Brothers. Specifically if you play Melee. Oh my gosh, if you play Melee, I love that game. I love it. We we play it like uh, crazy. I, I just didn't realize how how good it was competitively and everything. And then you can make a little eye. We'll put it in this side. We'll put it on this side a little. Kind of to contrast with the this little thing. So basically you got the eye shapes. Two big eyes. And then you just finish up, we'll shade it. Uh, best way to shade the eye, start with the top really black. Like this. And then lightly make the, the bottom lighter. Then we'll blend it. Same thing with this. And lightly we'll go back. So this blending stump tool, this is what I use all the time. I'm going to shade a little more. Sometimes it won't shade too good. Actually, it's better to use a soft, very soft lead for blending. Uh, mechanical pencils are good, but when it comes to blending, they aren't the best, as you can kind of see, because they leave real precise lines. So this tool works amazing. I'm just blending it in. And just come back 
Like anyone's darker. I'm just coming, all I'm doing is coming in and darkening lines with this. It's a B leg, which is soft and it's kind of dark. And of course, the mouth. And the little mouth here. And the tongue. Just blend it in. And last but not least, any sketch marks you have, erase them. So just any marks around the circle. I'm gonna stick with this bay and just make a little more lines. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Yeah, please let me know in the comments though if you play Smash. Just I love to play. I just Pretty much just going on with a thicker line, just so it looks a little... This is to clean it up. And like I said before, you know, it's all about being artistic when you're drawing. You don't want to make, you don't want to replicate things so it looks exactly like someone else. I mean, in other words, that's why, like I said, with this drawing, I kind of, I stuck with exactly what Jigglypuff looks like yet. I kind of made... You know the body a little different, a little more edginess. Very, very subtle, but you can see it's a little, little elongated, like up and down, and the hairstyle might look a little different. But that's that's what's fun about drawing. That's why I love to draw, cause you have that freedom to really design different things. Then the little curl, and then you now just go back, shade it in, and you have your own Jigglypuff drawing, everyone. Now I'm gonna just shade in this side. Pretend the light source is coming from here, so it's going down. So if light's hitting this way, all this is going to be... That'll be light, this in here will be dark. So you know, I'll just real, light, real quickly show you how to shade it. You always got to think, always when you're shading, always think of where the light source is. Just don't freely guess like, oh, it must be here. But you can see, definitely this foot would be pretty much shaded, maybe under here. But like I said, the light would be here, so it's just all this side would be shaded. And it's unbelievable what just a little shading does for a drawing. It, it, it absolutely changes the whole dynamic of it. Cause, and that's something I give in my tips video. Like, like I said, I always throw out tips. Uh, I'm a, I know I say it a billion gajillion times, but I'm a much better teacher than I am actually doing these tips. I, I need so much more practice and need to grow and stuff but what I'm getting at is basically when it comes to shading look how much better it looks with just a little value and that's why a lot of times people will constantly overwork their drawings like uh, I've seen a lot of times I do it myself a lot where I'll put too many lines in and rather I forget well value can create a drawing as simply as the line. So you have to take all of it into consideration when you're drawing. That's kind of a big thing. All right, here another one. Then you know where the arm connects to the body, you want to add a little shadow. It's like these, almost these comb-like shapes. I'd say that's pretty much done. I don't want to overwork it, but I want it to look kind of sketchy. Thanks everyone for checking it out. And I have lots more on the way. Thanks, everyone. Oh, yeah. It's a bonus. If you're still watching, you get to see a bonus part. I'll make the little two notes. There you go, everyone. So she's singing for you. There you go. Thanks, everyone. See you later.